Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. Today we are taking a look at love, a connection that is on your mind, the person that you want to know about, the reason why you clicked this reading. So hold that person in your mind, hold them in your heart, think about this connection, take a deep breath and say thank you for revealing to me exactly what I need to know about this person today. You ready? So we are going to look at the overall energy of this connection, their thoughts and feelings towards you, about you, any actions towards you, your advice, and at the end, it will be a bonus message from each of the zodiacs, Aries through Pisces. All right, so let's get started. No, Libra, that these are timeless. So whenever this reading is finding you, it is for you. Take it how it resonates for you. Take what resonates, leave anything that doesn't. All right, the energy can also be, you know, wow, <laughs> the energy can be vice versa. So I may be talking about you, but it's actually maybe the energy resonates for you as the other person. So you just take it how it resonates for you. And let's look at this. We'll just go ahead and get started. Okay, Libra. You guys were my most viewed video of the last Zodiac series. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love my Libra community. Thank you so much. I love you guys. All right. This person on Libra's mind. What do we need to know about this connection? This person on Libra's mind. Show us the overall energy of this connection. The overall energy of this connection. Libra, you are calling in your soulmate. I believe that that has come out for you before. Did I get a flipper? I did not. Okay. So you're calling in your soulmate, Libra. Interesting. All right. So you may be thinking about somebody. Spirit may, whoops, spirit may have somebody different in mind for you. Somebody different that is your soulmate that may be better than what you think. I also have, you deserve love. So I'm wondering, Libra, if the person on your mind is somebody who is not actually deserving of you, but you don't view yourself that way, you may need to realize that you are worthy and deserving of the love that you want. She's aiming at something specific here. What do you want? This person that's on your mind, are they lining up with that? Are they lining up with everything that you want? Or are you attaching your, your thought of a soulmate? Are you attaching that energy to this person because of their looks or because they seem great or you've had an experience with them in the past and you just, you want them, you know? But do they, if you sit with yourself, Libra, and be honest with yourself and you get clear like laser focus clear about what it is in your heart that you want in regards to your soulmate love does this person truly align with that because i see that you are calling in your soulmate and i see that you are thinking of somebody specific that you think is your soulmate. But I also see that you may deserve better. And you may not realize that. Because I see that the universe may have someone better for you. Keep your mind open. Your soulmate may differ from your, from your usual type and expectations. You may have a type. You know, we all have a type. You may have a type. But the actual person that lines up with your heart and soul, that will give you every single thing that you want, may look different than you think. 
All right, Libra. You know, the way these cards are looking at me here is like this. She is shooting her arrow towards a specific soulmate. You want something specific. You want what you want. What do you want to feel in regards to love? What do you want to feel? Get real clear about it because you're calling in somebody who is going to absolutely line up perfectly to what it is that you want. So some of you may not have somebody in mind, but you're looking, you're watching this reading because you want to know who's coming. Does somebody have thoughts and feelings about me? Is somebody coming in for me? And I'm seeing somebody is wanting someone from the past to return. Thinking they're your soulmate. So let's just see what else Spirit has here. I've got release your ex, Libra. And if you're not with anybody, for me, this card is mostly energy. It's not an actual person. But I'm thinking that somebody here is watching this, hoping an ex will come back, thinking that they're their soulmate. And your cards are saying, there's someone better. Release that. Release that. They don't actually line up with what you want. There's something not right there. But you're hoping for a reconciliation. I've got playfulness. I've got flirt here. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of magnetism. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of fun here. So you may be holding on to all of that because it was fun at one time. But I also have deception here. Now this doesn't have to mean betrayal or anything like that. It could. Maybe you've dealt with that in the past. And for some reason, though, you're wanting them to come back. But this can also mean the deception of yourself, deceiving yourself into thinking that something that is not worthy of you, and your heart knows, Libra, your heart knows. But you may have a worthiness block thinking that you don't deserve better but you do you do deserve better so there's a message here for some of you that you may need to sit with yourself and get really really you know honest with yourself and look about look at what you want in love in love in this soulmate love without somebody's picture in your without someone's face in your visualization okay because you've got true love here. You've got soulmate love here. But you've also got the universe saying there's something. Keep your open mind. Or keep your mind open because there's something better. That's going to actually be your true love. They're going to carry the qualities that you like about this other person. The playfulness, the flirty, the attraction, the fun, the adventure, the chemistry. That's what you like about this person. But you know in your heart of hearts that they don't line up with your truth in regards to love. If you really, really get honest with yourself, something doesn't line up. And if they've betrayed you in the past, if they're keeping their options open and they're not realizing now what they have in you, that's deceiving too because you deserve somebody who does so just some thoughts okay because you've got true love here and this is what you really want you really want true love you want to feel all that true love is you want to feel like this is the romance of a lifetime you want to feel chosen you want to feel feel validated you want to feel somebody who who sweeps you right off your feet and doesn't let you be single or uh, open to someone else coming and taking you, right? 
You don't want to feel betrayed. You don't want to feel lied to. You don't want to feel cheated on. You want to feel love that's true. Love that's whole. Love that is trustworthy and balanced and healthy and whole. Okay, Libra. Let's see what their thoughts and feelings are towards you. What are their thoughts and feelings about my Libra watching this reading? What are their thoughts and feelings about my Libra? This person on their mind, what are their thoughts and feelings? I don't like this person, Libra. But I'm not here to tell you that. I'm here to tell you what their thoughts and feelings are. They are undecided. They're back and forth, maybe a little overwhelmed. Maybe there was some sort of falling out with you and that's why you're in a separation and why you're watching this reading in the first place. There's some sort of, you know, disconnect. Going back and forth, having a tough time making a decision. They don't really know what to think in that energy. So let's do two shuffles for my Libra. Thoughts and feelings. This person's thoughts and feelings towards Libra, please. What are their thoughts and feelings towards Libra? Okay, we've got the Six of Pentacles. That's better. That's better than the Two of Pentacles. We've got the Two of Pentacles right here going back and forth trying to figure out some balance. They're out of balance here. They want balance, though. They truly do want balance. This is the overall energy of the question. So they see in their thoughts and feelings towards you, they're undecided. But I feel like they see you, though, Libra. Because Libra is the, the balance. Libra is the energy of balance, right? The energy of the justice card. It's balance. It's equal. Cause and effect. They see that you're always willing to put in the effort. They see that you're always willing to bring balance and healing. You're the one that's always willing to, to bring healing and bring things back into balance and make things right and give all the effort. They see that about you and they like that about you. So let's let's get some more cards and see what else is going on here. I've got the Eight of Cups and I've got the Judgment. I am telling you what, Libra. <laughs> Justice is here was just talking about justice. Justice is yours. You are overdue for justice. We've got the high priestess. Listen to your intuition about this. Listen to your intuition about this, Libra. Because I feel like there's reason to worry about this person. There's reason to move on from this whole person. I've got two eights together. One of them is walking away. One of them is coming towards you. This is wishy-washy, but also two eights when they come out in a reading means there's something wrong with this connection. So there's something wrong here. Either they're thinking this about you, they're thinking of walking away completely, but they're also, they may be manipulating you. They may be sending you messages telling you otherwise. They may be confusing you because they may be telling you things because this could be messages coming in. But there's something not right here when two eights show up together, especially when the nine of swords is in the heart of the spread. In their thoughts and feelings towards you, they're all up in their head and they're considering walking away entirely, completely. But they may be confusing you, telling you something different. Because this is a wishy-washy energy. This is, I'm walking away, nope, I'm coming towards you. I'm walking away, nope, I'm coming towards you. And so I feel like maybe in the heart of the spread of their feelings and thoughts is you. I feel like this is you. Like, confused and stressed out and over it. You're done with this wishy-washy 
you're done with feeling worried and stressed and whether or not this person is coming back or whether they're they can be trusted because they can't even make up their mind is that what you want in a soulmate I kind of feel like it's not I've got the judgment here releasing releasing that inner stuff like your worth releasing anything that is like fear anxiety worry all the old stuff maybe this is a karmic cycle that needed to close and this would be a you know change this is the energy of change and releasing the past but i also see this as you releasing the things that make you doubt your self-worth and doubt that you deserve better you're releasing all of that i'm looking at their thoughts and feelings towards you and i keep seeing you libra and you're here libra so they are thinking about you you're showing up here there's also drama and this is in the heart of the spread this is not good energy libra so I feel like whatever happened between you, it put them in a place of, you know, wanting to let go, wanting to walk away and start something new. But I feel like they may be wishy-washy about that. But they're thinking of like letting go completely. I've also got the tower here. This is sudden, unexpected change. That could be what happened between you. Sudden, unexpected change. Maybe things just kind of suddenly came to a halt and you're still holding on because, you know, you have that flirt energy, the playfulness. You maybe thought they were your, your soulmate. You've been holding on to hope that things will change and maybe reconnect as you did in the beginning that might have swept you right off your feet but we have remember we have in their energy here is just this wishy-washiness back and forth back and forth but you might have had this tower happen this tower energy that came in and just like disrupted everything maybe they cheated on you or something because the deception card came out it maybe just like pulled the rug out from under you and now it's time for justice it's time for balance it's time for you to receive back what you deserve and if we're talking about their thoughts and feelings i feel like they left unexpectedly they did something unexpectedly that threw you off balance Either that or they are going to, because in their thoughts and feelings, you know, there's drama here. So maybe this was a fight that you have and they're still focused on it because this is their thoughts and feelings towards you. And we have in the heart of the spread this nine of swords. And, you know, so there was some sort of disruption here that caused a lot of drama and maybe caused them to walk away or want to walk away. I feel like they're getting ready to leave for good. I'm sorry, Libra. What I do see here, though, is that with that judgment card and you in the tower, these are destiny cards. This tells me that destiny is at play here. The universe is saying there is something better for you destiny is at play here let's look at their actions towards you Libra their actions towards you I see a lot of wishy-washiness I see a lot of drama I see a lot of being in their head I see a lot of change this wishy-washy back and forth okay their actions are showing up as the Queen of Cups so the Queen of Cups has a lot of love for you. Their actions, maybe they want to tell you how they feel, but she's not moving. She's not moving. She's sitting and she's waiting. 
So let's get some more cards. Let's look further into their actions here. Their actions towards Libra, please. What are their actions towards Libra? This person on their mind. One more. <clears throat> their actions towards Libra. <clears throat> their defensive. Wow. Wow. We've got two sevens here. means if you're questioning a relationship, there's a reason why. Especially, there's some hurt here. You guys had a falling out or something. Their actions are, if they come forward, they're coming out of hurt. They're not healed. Okay, but look at, they're on the defense. And you might have been waiting for a while for them. They might have been waiting for a while to tell you how they feel or to talk to you again. There's some sort of situation here that has you in separation that has them on the defense, has them all up in their hurts. We've got the star here, which is healing and balance. I don't think they're coming out of healing with all this. They're coming out of defense. So if you talk to them, it may be defensive energy and it may be coming from these hurts whatever happened between you let's get some more cards what are their actions towards my libra their actions towards libra the tower came out again with the five of swords the Five of Wands came out with it last round, and now it's the Five of Swords. We've got this energy of him sitting there being, holding back his time, his energy, his resources. He's sitting down. He's holding himself back. This is in the heart of your spread. They're holding themselves back. Something happened here between the two of you that disrupted everything and there is a there's drama there's a lot of energy of you know defense fighting drama but also this is my narcissist card this five of swords is a narcissist they may may have tried to manipulate you Boy, Libra, I am not feeling good about this situation here. They're trying to find their confidence. I, I see no action here. I see no action. I see holding yourself back, trying to find their confidence. Maybe you are needing to find your confidence and find your true, the truth on the inside of you that tells you that you deserve something better. And I have something better here than the queen and the king of pentacles along with the hierophant. This is a commitment and this is a divine counterpart here. This is on the other side of this stuff I feel like you've been waiting for a while for your true love and I feel like if you continue to wait for this person they're holding back from you because of something that happened between you but that something that happened between you that that something was actually divinely guided and it caused a big disruption I feel like so know that that was actually divinely guided because we have the Hierophant here who has the true keys. Somebody who has the true keys to your heart. Somebody who has true union here with you. It's your true counterpart. And they're going to be trustworthy. And I feel like this person, Libra, is not trustworthy. Can I get some confirmation, please? Can I get some confirmation for Libra? actions from this person on their mind. We've got the Six of Pentacles again. 
action from the person on their mind. What are their actions towards Libra? Their actions towards Libra. Oh my gosh. Judgment came out again. This is the end of a cycle, Libra. This is the close of a cycle. This is a big, big change in your life that was absolutely like destined. It was destined for you to go through some sort of tower moment. This tower has come out twice and judgment has come out twice. This is a destined moment of change for you. Closing old cycles. The universe has someone so much better for you than the one that's on your mind. You might be holding on to something that is not giving to you the way that you truly, truly deserve to be given to. I've got it here. I've got it here. Letting go of anything that tells you that you're not worthy of something better. Your heart knows. The lover's card is not only this perfect divine love that is here for you, but it's also making a choice to follow what your heart is telling you. And I feel like Libra, your heart has been telling you about this person for a while, but you don't believe that you deserve better. And this may be a comfort zone thing that you could be holding on to because there's so much history and everything. And there's a lot of emotional investment and attraction and stuff. You guys may, may be in this pattern of breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, getting back together, these tower moments. And the universe is saying, why is that what you want? Why? You deserve better. You deserve somebody who's on the same path at, as you. Somebody who wants the same thing as you. Somebody who wants a future that resonates with what you want for your future. Somebody who wants to build something amazing with you. Somebody who's truly, truly, truly aligned with you. These are destiny cards. There's somebody who's destined to be with you. And you're choosing someone who's beneath you. Someone who is not giving you the effort that you deserve. Somebody who's holding back from you. Let's get you some advice from the universe regarding this person on your mind. Advice. Advice, please, for my Libra. Advice for my Libra. Advice regarding this connection. Four of Raphael. That's the Four of Cups. Look at her. She does not look happy. Seek out other possibilities, Libra. Look for the magic in life and be aware of your own emotions. Wow. Be open. What was that? Be open. Be open. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I feel like this person is your usual type because you've been around and around with this person, Libra. Advice from my Libra, please. You are manifesting. And what you're manifesting is better than what your mind is telling you because you need to know that you deserve more than what you think. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take, act, time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. Think bigger. Be more optimistic about what you think you deserve. Because things are turning out as expected here. Seven of Pentacles, that came out right here. You've been waiting. You've been manifesting. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for your harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Think bigger. The Four of swords healing insights that come from quiet meditation get sit with yourself libra sit with your heart and think about what it is that you truly want and i say what you want 
because you may think that you don't deserve what you truly want. But when you sit and you're so honest with yourself about what you really want in love, how do you want to feel? How do you want to be treated? How do you want to be talked to? Not the person, but how do you want that love to feel and look like? In regards to you, how do you want to be treated? How do you want to be talked to? What the What is the effort that you want? When you're honest with yourself, that truth, you may get a belief that pops up in your mind that says you're not deserving of that or you're not worthy of that or something. That is what I'm talking about. You need to change that and know that whatever it is that your heart wants, you do deserve it. Otherwise, you wouldn't want it. And Spirit is trying to teach you this lesson. This person is not good enough for you. Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or some time off, seek relief from this stress. This person and the stress that they are putting on you, a decision needs to be made. Look at that decision. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. Libra. You can't make this stuff up. All right. Okay, so bonus. Aries through Pisces. A message from each. So if you are dealing with an Aries... You are mysterious. I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. I feel like that's the other way around. You may feel that way about your Aries. Taurus, you're so smart. Your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart and I really enjoy our conversations. Gemini. Gemini showing out. I'm acting like I don't care about what happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. Hmm? Cancer. Run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Leo. Lost. I feel lost without you. Virgo. You hurt me. Everything that happened hurt me so much, I need more time to heal. You know, I was going to say, Virgo's message is very similar to yours. You might want to watch that reading. And, wow. Libra, you're my favorite. You're the one I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought I have, the first thought when I have news to share, you are my person. Scorpio, I'm single. I'm single right now, I'm not attached to anyone, and not looking to get into a relationship at this time. Sagittarius, I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. Capricorn, will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me out? Will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? Aquarius, you feel like home. Being with you reminds me of the simpler times. You bring me so much happiness and peace. Pisces, it's on. I see you looking good and moving on. I don't care who you're talking to. I'm better. I will compete for you. Wow. Okay, Libra. If this resonated for you, I would love for you to join my community here on YouTube. And I would love for you to comment below and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. I love you guys. I'm sending you big hugs. There is something much better for you that is on the way, Libra. See you in the next reading.